what is it about the process of the, how the district has gone about closing, as they say, that they're going to close the Tubman Young uh, Women's Leadership Academy? Talk about a little what you just were saying about how many processes you went through just to get into the school. Yes, um, what I I'm a kind of a new parent here. My daughter we found this school last year, and she's really happy here. Um, I was really shocked when I heard that message from our superintendent about the, pro, the the recommendation because if if we know that this is a problem, long back when if we were. Uh, informed earlier then we could have worked together the parents the school staff the district staff can work together and we already have some existing partnership things going to work on this together and have time instead of now look i think the district must have seen all the parents effort now they're trying to keep the school open think about if we keep all this effort onto enroll more students instead of now running around you know with a lot of emotion going on you know a lot of worries a lot of frustration and for us to find a new school when we uh, found Tamin, uh we attended the information session and then we talked to other parents and students and then also they uh, provided a shadow day the kids can actually come and know what you're going to be in this kind of environment so we, we invest time to find a new school and a lot of the girls who choose here are with some special reasons. I can share my, um, my so my daughter is, uh, she likes math, but in her previous school, um, she was just constantly frustrated because the whole environment as a girl likes math doesn't really make you a popular kid anyway. But here she found other girls like her like math and they have an awesome math teacher so she's very very happy now and as a parent it's hard to that you have need to take this away from her so anyway so just just as i described we put a lot of effort to find a, a bright environment edu educative environment for our daughters we need the same we want to do the same for a new school if we need to go to a new school but now we don't even give them that kind of time because it's sort of come down to just a matter of weeks yes it's april 2nd we got a phone call uh, actually it's a it's a voice message and then um we were told like april um, 9th is the first uh chance to to like a hearing to talk speak your comment to the board members and then Tuesday April 10th we already have a group of uh, enrollment and transfer staff from PPS to school and parents want to tell them that please work with us work with us to find ways to keep the school open instead of giving a very short time to find out where we're going to send our kids to one more time your name Pardon me? What is your name one more time? Uh, Holly Ho. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much.